Donna Mills and Joe Bellard. Hey, Abster. Yeah, Bell. <laughs> it's like a family reunion here. Yeah. Living in Knott's Landing for 14 years, we learned a couple of things. Yeah, we learned that no matter how many times you're hospitalized and no matter how much pain you're in, eyelashes and lip gloss are a must. Yes, and somebody in your suburban cul-de-sac is a killer, somebody else is an embezzler, and somebody else is two-timing the killer with the embezzler. And they all have perfect hair. But we're not alone. The denizens of every classic TV neighborhood are up on the styles and the trends. But none more so than the people you have chosen as your hippest fashion plates, male and female. Among the fabulous females, your choices were these. Hippest fashion plate, female. Agent 99, get smart. I was a high fashion model before I became an agent at control. Watch. Rhoda Morgenstern, Rhoda. Now, look at you, how you dress funny. <laughs> I mean, that's your way of saying hello. Yeah, this is your name tag. Like my clothes. Yeah, except that this is not that funny. <laughs> Alexis Carrington Colby, Dynasty. <laughs> and Marie, that girl. Hey! How about that? What? The coat. Oh, it's new. <laughs> That's really funny. Funny? You know how long I've been saving? Couldn't be as long as a coat. <laughs> I'll change it. Oh, honey, 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 I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I really love it. And the viewer's choice for hippest fashion plate female is... Let's see. Barbara Feldon as Agent 99. This is so sweet. I mean, it's, it's especially dear because Agent 99 never won an award. So I want to thank TV Land and all of the viewers out there for voting for 99's clothes. <laughs> I'm going to hang this in my closet, and every time I look at it, I'm going to think kindly of Rudy Gernreich and um, Cappy Capriotti, who designed the kinds of outfits that 99 and I love to wear, and our head of wardrobe, Leslie Hall, who always made sure that 99 was appropriately dressed when she looked with adoration at her beloved Don Adams and said, oh, Max, thank you. <laughs> Among the many dapper men, you chose the following. Hippest fashion plate, male. Sonny Crockett, Miami Vice. Keith Partridge, The Partridge Family. Hello world, hear the song that we're singing. Come on, get happy. Larry Dallas, Three's Company. Hey, Larry, what's the idea of this get up? Janet, explain the work to be done. These are my working clothes. <laughs> Greg Brady, The Brady Bunch. Now remember, we are leaving for Mount Claymore this afternoon, right after school. <laughs> and we'd love it if you don't have any other plans, if you change your mind and come along. Oh, wow, I gotta split. Like, uh, later. And the viewer's choice for hippest fashion plate male is... Meatloaf, no. David Cassidy as Keith Partridge. Well, I've been nominated for a number of awards in my lifetime, and uh, I have to say this is a very special one because of my father. My father was, without a doubt, the finest dressed human being that has ever walked the face of the earth. He had the greatest taste in clothes, he had the greatest taste in women, because he married one of the finest women I have ever known. 
Ms. Shirley Jones. I look around this room and I am truly honored and privileged to be here amongst all of you. I want to thank Larry Jones. I want to thank all of my friends at TV Land and all of you for making this happen. I'm honored. God bless you. Thanks, Dad. Good night.